First thing you have to do is you have to join a community server and save a replay. To do this, all you have to do is check the supports replays feature in the community browser. Then you can join it, wait for the server to start, Once you join a server that supports replays, you can move around a little bit, make sure you do stuff, and then you die. And then to save your replay, just click F6. I'm going to name it our first replay. And it'll say it's downloading in the top left, and now we just wait. Stay in the server until your replay completes. Once your replay is done downloading, you'll see it in here. If you have a custom HUD, you're going to have to remove it temporarily to see this button. Now you should see your first replay. Next, we need a demo to convert into a replay. To prove this works in casual, you can see in the bottom right. To start a demo, we have to press record, then a name, and it says recording demo. Now. You want to move around, do what you want to do in your replay. And then you want to press stop. And it says it completed the demo. So we can disconnect. Make sure to close out of your game. To find our demo, we have to right click TF2, manage, browse local files, TF folder, and then there it is. I'm going to cut this and then move it to our replay, client, replays folder, and paste it in. Now we're ready for the next step. Our next step is going to be, we're going to copy and paste the replay that we have saved. We're going to rename it to replay underscore three in my case. It's always going to be one above the last one. Then we're going to click open with, then notepad, select everything, delete it and paste in the template in the description. Now we have to name it the same exact number that it is in the actual file, the handle as well. The map doesn't matter, so we can type anything in. And then for the title, we're gonna name it Crazy Backstab. And then we have to name it what we named the demo when we've recorded it. So it's gonna be demo.dem for me. And then we save it, file save, close it, then we can open up TF2, we click our replay folder, and there's our crazy backstab. To view it, we double click it, watch slash edit, now that we're in, we can pause, shift F2 at the same time, and we can click drive, and free camera. Now we can move around. As you can see, this is me. My character is invisible. So what we have to do is we have to do SV cheats one third person. Now you can see my character moves around and that's because technically we're not actually free camming in a replay. We're still watching from his perspective. So what we have to do is we have to click third person, then drive. And if you want to hide it again, it's shift F2. We can watch it. Shift F2, free cam, drive. Establish your second camera angle. Sometimes it doesn't work, so you have to play it and repause. Click third person, drive, shift F2. can see I missed the back steps so we have to go back these don't work so what we have to do is we have to go by tick so we are at tick 847 what we have to do is we're gonna have to go back I'm gonna go back to tick 700 and it reloads the entire thing free cam drive now I'm gonna get back into position third person drive shift F2 play And that's it. And say you're lost somewhere, 
like over here, and you want to get back to your character, never click this button. Just hover over it, find yourself, make sure drive isn't checked, find yourself. If you click this button, you can get a third person camera. If you accidentally click your character in the bottom left, you'll be stuck like this forever. I can click uh, free cam and drive and then back to third and it'll be stuck following him. So in order to fix this, we have to restart. So we disconnect, then we watch. And now we have to restart all over again. If you left click your mouse, your character will snap back in. So if you're trying to adjust for something more specific, you can always reset your character by left clicking. As you can see here, I'm playing sniper and I'm going for a flying headshot. And if I use a sniper and scope in, I go invisible. So the only way to get around that is to use someone else's POV. Now I'm Sniper and my friend's Medic who I'm using the POV so that's why you can see the Medic crosses popping up. But now I'm not invisible anymore when I scope in using this POV. Using someone else's POV, you can also use the free cam mode instead of being locked to the third person camera because your model won't be locked to where the camera is looking. The only downside to using someone else's POV is they have to be pretty close to you, otherwise everything disappears as the demo doesn't record everything like a replay would. If you automatically want to record at the beginning of matches, you can use PREC, which is what I use to capture all my games. It's not a third party software, so you won't be VAC banned. And to further back up that, most people in the competitive community use this to save their POVs. And the biggest of that is Banny. He uses it, so it's pretty trusted. I'll leave a link to PREC in the description so you can learn how to further use this. And here's a guide on how I set it up. Once you drop PREC into your custom folder, you can use the README and the add ons folder to view the commands you can use in game to control how you use it. So in game, I use prec underscore mode three. I have prec delete useless demo to zero, and I have prec underscore directory to the custom slash prec slash demos folder. And what that looks like is once you go to prec in your custom folder, I have a little demo folder set up and it saves everything in here. And it's super easy to find everything that I want. Your latest one will show up at the bottom. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to ask in the comments section below. I'll always answer it. Thank you for watching. Very nice. Very nice.